collaboration of the occupational therapist and the building contractor or the home safety contractor, someone like, like what I do here at, at Bay Grab Bar? Um, well, what you do at Bay Grab Bar, there are not enough of, to be honest with you. Um, I would absolutely love to have access to somebody like you. It's something that is needed and there are not many. The way that we get it done out here is uh, we have a gentleman who works with the elder services and you can call him to kind of be a handyman. But the access to somebody who understands grab bars, who understands how to install them property, properly so that they don't just pull out of the wallboard, that they're secure and uh, screwed into the studs and that there's all the equipment necessary to support their weight, uh, to make sure that they're in the places that they need them and not just what uh, they were told is where you should put them on the wall. Because a lot of times they tell you, oh, X amount of inches, but if a patient is, you know, they're, in years of experience, I found that if a patient's going to fall, they're not going to fall where we think they should fall, where they're going to go to grab what they would automatically grab. So a lot of times it's a shower, a towel bar or a toilet paper roll or a wet sink. And the one that uh, scares me the most are the sinks that are freestanding on the wall that uh, don't have a vanity underneath. They're just the sink. Uh, we've had patients break hips because they've fallen, they've literally fallen off the wall. So those things, when we go in, we need somebody to do that. And we're relying on landlords who don't know better. We're relying on um, low income housing, the people that run it to have a handyman come. It's most often just a handyman or a family member. Um, my husband has come in a few times to help me out because I know he's gonna do it right and it's not gonna come flying off the wall. So I have used him, but it really is not something that is readily available and so needed. Um, what does that, that line between the occupational therapist and the contractor look like? Who does, you know, uh, where does the OT end and the contractor pick up or vice versa? I think that it really should be a collaboration um, where there really isn't an, an end per se where I think the OT can meet the contractor and they collaborate together. Because I don't think, I mean, we know the equipment, we know what a grab bar is, we know um, all, we know the equipment that we usually work with and the, the vendors that our home care companies usually use. But that doesn't mean we know everything that's on the market. Whereas somebody who specializes and is licensed is more likely to know what options might be there that we don't know. Um, I did have a client in a very wealthy area who insisted on mahogany grab bars. Uh, I didn't know where I was gonna go for that and I wasn't comfortable just putting in a random you know, piece of wood. So it, those kinds of things where I am skilled at knowing where they might go because I have an understanding of what the diagnoses are, um, where these patients might decline. I have the experience to know that, okay, you're, as a con you as a contractor are going to address the needs of the patient today. I have the ability to add where the patient might be so that they're not going through that expense again, but that the equipment can grow with them and that it won't need to be refunded. And sometimes insurances will pay, but they'll pay once. So it's to your advantage to really have somebody with you that understands the progression of this diseases that we deal with right. and be able to get it right the first time, um, knowing that. Mm -hmm. And I think for the contractor, I don't know how to install them. I mean, I know what needs to be done, but I don't have the tools or the time to be able to, because normally we're only able to go in for an hour, insurance isn't gonna cover it and our bosses aren't gonna let us stay. You know, usually unless you are specializing in this and that's, this is your job to work with the contractors and make these recommendations as a consultant. Um, 
I think it's important to at least start the meeting together, do the home assessment together, because I might identify an area of concern that you then can recommend what should be the answer to that spot and what can be done. Um, for example, I had a patient who had a beautiful swimming pool and it was all stone and cement and beautiful, gorgeous gunite pool. I wouldn't have known where it could be installed, if it could be installed, how. And to go through every area of the house inside and out, I need that expertise. Uh, I think it really meshes nicely in um, the, the things that I might notice that you might not notice as a contractor. And then I rely on your expertise on the what do we do about it. <laughs>